Welcome back. We're in. The, we're doing a room tour now. So it's been a minute since we've done the room tour, but here we go. So obviously you can see, we have the door right here. Walk in, bathroom, you know, same old, same old. Uh, lighting, sink, toilet, shower, towels, all that good stuff. Blow dryer, keep my hair nice. Closet. Then we got the microwave, little fridge. And then we got our room. All right? Um, king bed. Alarm clock, desk. Not really going to be doing anything. I'm only here for tonight. So. Um, but yeah. I'm down here in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, myself and another driver, Sean. You guys will meet him tomorrow. Um, we are picking up the Arizona Roadrunners. Now that is the... <laughs> pro hockey team i don't know if they're semi-pro or if they're pro or what have you but yeah they get paid to do it um but yeah we're down here in tucson picking them up tomorrow um like i said myself and sean good morning good morning happy thursday so as you saw we did the hotel room tour type thing like we know we used to do right but it is like 6 30 in the morning um and we're ready to get rolling here soon we're just waiting on sean to come down he's slightly overslept that's okay but today we're in 6 47 and we're going to be in this one all weekend um it's a great bus smooth i mean all of them are smooth uh tons of power to climb even with when they're weighted down and stuff like that so it's a change in scenery from the truck um and personally i'm excited now today is going to be a long day like i said we're down here in tucson <clears throat> and we're going to el segundo california it's about seven and a half eight hours um they're gonna have a game tomorrow night in El Segundo and then right after that game we'll load up hit the road and then go uh, about an hour east to Irvine and then they'll have another game Saturday night and then we're supposed to drive home Saturday after that game now it's gonna be intense it's like a six hour drive from Irvine back to Tucson um, we're not gonna get in until early Sunday morning so we'll pretty much be right back here at the La Quinta um, in Tucson so yeah but we'll get into all of that as time goes on but anyway check it out You guys might recognize this bus from when Oregon was in town. I had the Oregon bus. So there she is. Looking just as beautiful as she knows how to. So this is one of our newer ones. So this one has cameras everywhere. It's a bird's eye view. See the camera up top. We got another camera right there. And then obviously there's one on the back. Gotta make sure the wheels are nice and clean. Camera there. We've done our pre-trip, kind of walked around, checked everything out, and then our last camera's right up there. Um, but yeah, super excited to get rolling. Whenever this guy comes down, we have plans to get breakfast. He's cutting into that plan. That's Sean's bus, 633. Now, I like that bus only because of the 33. This bus looks like he has a different print on his seats. Um, nonetheless, 
Right now, because of COVID, obviously, no one sits in this first row here. Hence the do not sit. Um, only, I only allow someone to sit there if absolute necessary. Like, let's say I got three people left and I got four seats. All right, fine. You can sit there. But you need to have your, your mask. So it's a little breezy this morning. It's like 40 degrees down here. And then this is the inside of my coach. <laughs> Do not sit. I'll play that mess. Um, nice LED white lights in here. It's beautiful. You guys, you don't need to see all of that. But anywho. Um, yeah, that's it for now. We will pick this up once we get to the arena, pick them up and start loading. Um, yeah, happy Thursday. What's up guys? So it's been a long day. Um, here we are in beautiful, beautiful California. And this is where the LA Kings, I believe. This is where they train. But this is where their minor league or farm team, this is where they play. And so the Arizona Roadrunners, Tucson Roadrunners being the Coyotes um, farm team, this is where they're going to be playing. So tomorrow night, this is where they'll be playing at. You can see they're pulling gear off the truck or the bus. They got all stuff here. Skates and player bags and all those kinds of things. So let's go see if we can take a look inside. Got some figure skaters in there doing their thing. But yeah, that was a drive drive. So we got dirty. Um, right around the Palm Spring area, it was snowing. And I mean like, like heavy rain. And then I look down at the road and you see snow kind of packed on the road. It's kind of crazy. So buses are kind of dirty right now, but we may take care of that. We may not, we may just leave it be. It is what it is. So there's Sean back there. Talking to whoever he's talking to. But yeah, we're just gonna get here unloaded. And then our hotel. Where's our hotel? Oh. So our hotel is right over there. So I think we'll pretty much go around the block, go we'll park there, and then we're done for the day. So, see you tomorrow. All right, y'all, here we are back in our new room. So here's the door. To my right, we have our lovely bathroom, toilet, shower, uh, no switches. Wait, ah, there we go. Toilet, cool buttons. It's kind of like how I have mine at home. Shower, seeing one, seeing them all. Come out, you got your little sink here. 
with your nice vanity mirror. That boy look good. You know what I'm saying? Back here, uh, we'll call this the coffee bar. You do got a little mini fridge. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Mirror, check yourself out when you're ready to roll in the morning. Um, turn that off. Then we come into the room itself. Pretty dope. We got the TV right here. We got the king bed here. Got a little wardrobe, hangout chair, AC unit, desk, door to the adjoining room. And we got this cool little balcony right, or patio, I should say. Um, the coolest thing of them all is, if I can get it open, uh, let's see. Ah, it was Sean proofed. <laughs> um, you got this patio with the screen door. It's freaking awesome. It's a little loud, so we're gonna close that. But anyway, that's the room. It's pretty legit. Super comfy, it looks like. Um, oh my goodness, this bed. Oh, it's gonna usher me into some great sleep. With that being said, room tour complete. Check, I'll see y'all tomorrow. What's up guys? Friday night here in LA. And as you can see, we are still at the uh, LA Kings practice facility. But this is where the road runners are playing their game. So they're in there. Got the doors open. They're gonna start loading here really soon. Um, and then we're gonna head out to Orange County tonight. So that's pretty much what's going on for now. Um, got nothing. Um, in two weeks, uh, we will be back doing this exact same trip. So I think it's that last week of uh, March. We'll be back here doing the same thing. So should be fun, should be exciting. Now I know it, you know, I know what to expect now. So, um, but I did go in and watch some of the game, like the first quarter. And it's intense, man. I, that's the first time I've ever seen a hockey match. Uh, up close and personal. It's very physical, obviously. Um, it's fast. Some of those dudes are huge. You know what I mean? But um, like always, just sit and wait. So, just watching some uh, Hulu on the iPad. Some of the guys over there got their stuff in there. But when it's all said and done, all of the bays will be full. And uh, yeah. So we're gonna get rolling here and probably be about in like two hours. It is currently, let's see, 8.12. We'll probably be rolling out of here like 10 o'clock. Uh, fingers crossed, so. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. What's up guys? Welcome back Sunday morning here. Just got back to the Tucson Convention Center, as you can see. They're unloading both buses right now. That was rough. Um, I mean, I got nothing else to say except that was rough. So, um, last night, they played their game, got loaded up and we left the arena around like 10 30. our original trip to go through like the 10 to come through like palm springs and that kind of area didn't work out there was a traffic jam of some kind um it's like an hour delay so myself and sean the other driver made the 
decision to go down through San Diego, come up through Yuma, and then the eight all the way in to the 10 and then boom. So it ended up being just under seven hours. Um, and we did that, so yeah. We've been here now for about five minutes or so and they're unloading. I'm freaking tired. So from here, we are gonna go to our hotel just down the street.